All right, so uh, time to think about the colors, and um, <clears throat> I'll just start with uh, painting the the bags, I think, and uh, I'll paint them in a in a stone gray, um, and give them a couple of washes with brown and uh, and green maybe, so so that we yeah, so that you have the appearance of weathered uh, material See how it looks if I just dry brushed it and uh, a neutral white and off white. I mean, so just dry brushing everything. And uh, also touching the, the lower areas because um, I don't want them to be too dark since we, we just want them to be uh, dark red and not uh, just black. Uh, I kinda think it would have been smart to just... No, I'll just... I'll just... No need to... No need to base coat it white. I'll just dry brush everything white. That should do the trick. This is just gonna be the first layer, and uh, there's a lot of layers to come. Okay, so we have uh, a nice tint going on already. Uh, like I said, this is still a bit too uh, too white, so.
right, so back to the shadows. And I think I'll use a bit of pure black or almost pure black uh, in these areas. Simply because they're really, really dark. And uh, also here, this would probably a dark area, be a dark area. And also down here again. Since we, since uh, the light would cast a shadow anyway. Um, also up here. Like I said, we can bring back the, the light uh, with a bit of dry brushing up here. Okay, so we're going getting closer. And uh, I didn't quite like the red <coughs> that we used before, so I'll just do the old standard um, Games Workshop Bestial Brown. And let's add this. Uh, and this is gonna be an intense color, so I gotta be careful. So armor brown is another red brown that we can use, and uh, burnt umber is also something that's um, made of. Yeah, it's a, it's an earth pigment, so we're fine. So yeah, just uh, like I said, uh, the red is a really intense color, and uh, we might want to tone that down. And not everything should should be that intense start with the umber. Again I'm going to add a tiny bit of um, dish soap so we break the surface tension and again start with the lower area so I see how intense it is. Okay, need to tone it down a bit. But the good thing is you can just add a bit of water and it uh, will have the right consistency again. Add a bit of that green, which should make some nice shadows. <clears throat> Again, this is uh, a bit of a complementary contrast with the red uh, being the, the main color and the green being the shadow color. has some some nice effects just don't want to overdo it and experiment a bit with it but yeah for some reason that's just gonna make the whole uh, all the colors a bit more intense 
and that's ultimately what you want. You want some nice contrasts and really popping colors. And you can do this on on gaming miniatures. Okay, let's have that dry for a bit and um, actually going back to the sandbags, gonna make them a bit more uh, of a neutral gray again. Okay, that's some interesting texture, I think. Um, I just want to, like I said, get rid of the brown, uh, the black, um, <coughs> by adding some brown. there at least for now probably go back in and paint some shades later as I as I go back in 